just wanted to do a little brief update here. So I had a problem with my diversion load one code and it wasn't kicking on. I had copied the code I had for diversion load two over to diversion load one and changed twos to ones, but this dimmer here works from 100 to 200 and I had put that code up here so this was only going to respond if this ever got up to 100. So I put the code from this dimmer 0 to 100 in here. So now you can see this dimmer is working. It's probably going to turn off here. Yeah, it looks like the sun's coming back out here. Yeah, you can see, yeah, there. This one turned off and this one went up. So this one was decreasing, this one was increasing. And now the meter finally updated the home energy monitor. That's probably why it was waiting. It was waiting for a, an update on the power reading. So yeah, they were up pretty high, 170. But see, it's way too high. So now this should start dropping. Oh yeah, looks like another cloud just blew past and now we're getting uh, Pretty good sun outside. Yeah, these are pretty fast moving clouds. There's like a cold front moving in. So they're kind of predicting possible thunderstorms. So you get all these uh, cumulus clouds blowing over and they either completely block the sun or they let it through full blast. Now another cloud must have come over. Yeah, it's getting darker outside. So hopefully these things will drop here. Okay, I had to refresh the web interface. I think it was hung up or something. So we should still be dropping here. There was a pretty big cloud came over. But now it looks like it's getting a little brighter outside. So the man in the house will probably drop since we're getting a little more solar. Yeah, there you can see it dropped clear down there. And this went back up. Yeah, so all the dimmers are responding, but the power meter isn't, or at least the web page isn't updating it. Yeah, so this one's dropping down. Oh, now it's going to jump up. It'll probably jump up to, I don't know, 150. Yep, 152. And there you can see diversion load 1. So this one went up to 100, this one went to 52, and that one went up to 2%. And that's because this power is a little bit below my target of 20 watts. Because we're just a little above. Well, now we're a little below 20. So you can see this actually went up to 3% because that dropped. Now it looks like a cloud must have come over. So these things should start dropping. That went from 3 to 1. The load in the house is dropping again. So the uh, diversion load code is updating all three dimmers. These two are working together as one 1200 watt dimmer and then this one is working independently as a single 600 watt dimmer. So you can see these two might go up, this one might go down, or here this one doesn't change and these two are dropping. So they should drop quite a bit here. The power coming in dropped which means the load goes up and that means these things don't have to soak up as much power anymore. So that one's off, that one's off, this one is shutting down. Now this one will probably come up a little bit. Oh, it actually went down. Yeah, the, the load in the house went up so the diversion load goes down. So yeah, I just wanted to show you all three dimmers working at the same time, some of them going up, some going down. Hopefully you found that interesting, and as always, thanks for watching.